Hey, welcome back to Conscious Corner. My name is Norm, and I'm just out for my walk. <coughs> a little walk and talk. Kind of been in a slump. A slump these last two days. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, <coughs> yesterday was an okay day. I just went out. I went to do uh, some more video recording for another video that I'm going to be putting up here. <clears throat> of course, about halfway through the day I realized that my microphone wasn't plugged in completely. <laughs> so I like blew like five hours of recording. Well, maybe not actual footage, but you know, five hours of my day trying to get everything, everything going there. So now that means I got to go up back out and do it. Uh, on the good side though is the fact that it was very windy yesterday so I was also dealing with microphone issues with the with the heavy gusts so plus the trees moving back in the background so every time I sat down to do a little bit of talk in the video you know I, I knew I was going to have to do some some cuts in the video of course the trees were going to be in different positions when I did that so yeah, I started thinking about that after too. So maybe it's a good thing. So, anyways, wow, that's a strange bark. There's dogs barking. It sounds like hey. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know which way to put the phone here. So it's not. Yeah, I'm probably all. I'm probably all silhouetted here. Ah, who cares? <laughs> I don't want you to look at my ugly mug. Here, I'll make it better for you. Just give me a second. There, you can see the road I'm walking up here now. I'll probably end up having to stabilize it. Not that I'm drunk when I walk, but lots of potholes here, so you'll see like a big dip all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, like I was saying, I just kind of feel, I feel kind of like down in the dumps now for the last two days. I thought maybe it was depression, but no, it's not depression. I just, some days you just wake up with no ambition, no get up and go. Just want to sit around and veg all day. I kind of did that yesterday afternoon when I got back from doing my video editing. I don't usually do that. I'm always, I'm always working on learning how to do, uh, how to record video and stuff like that. Learning all this movie theater stuff that's involved in production. <clears throat> so it's kind of an artsy thing to me. That's why I do it, I think. But uh, yeah, I'm just, feeling a little dumpy. Oh, everybody knows my name here in the neighborhood. Yeah. It's hard for me to remember them because it's, there used to only be like 30 people here. Now there's like 300. <laughs> and it's growing every day. Everybody's building something new. And yeah, this used to just be a little trail up the hill there where I used to go well still do go and play pool but now they're turning into a road it's everybody's parking their bikes down on the road now so now they'll have a place to go drive up on the hill there so, otherwise you got to go way up here and then come all the way back so <clears throat> yeah like I said, it's just kind of a, a dumpy day for Norm. And uh, I'm going to probably go uh, back later and upload this video today, this afternoon sometime. And uh, yeah, take it from there. I don't know what to do today. Maybe I'll take my, my daughter out to the beach my wife is going grocery shopping today, so Saturday we do our grocery shopping. Boy, if anybody's interested in my budget here, you know, just let me know because 
<laughs> I do live on the cheap. And, and not because I have to, you know. So, just I, I have a budget and I stick to it. <laughs> Even though there's lots of people that I see online saying, oh, you can't live on that much a month. They're wrong, you know. Everybody has a different lifestyle as well, I think. I don't know if it's a lifestyle, I think. People just want what they want and don't really care about their budget. You know, I think that's the problem. I think that's the problem with life. People just want too much. They buy stuff they don't need. The garage ends up becoming a storage place. And then of course, then they rent storage when the garage is full. Full of stuff they don't use or need. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna take a little break here because it's a little hot in the sun. <clears throat> Maybe I won't go all the way to the top today. Yeah, here we go. I don't know what do you guys think about that, about people buying stuff they don't need. Instant gratification, you know. You know, when I had my business back in Canada, I, I was one of those guys that would, well, I can't say I'd buy things I didn't need, just that, you know, if I couldn't rent it, if I couldn't take the time to find and rent it, I would just buy it, you know, and lots of times I ended up buying stuff I only used like once or twice, and that's it, and just sat in my garage, and then when the garage got full, it sat to the side of the garage, <laughs> but my garage was also my shop, so I couldn't really put a whole lot of stuff in there. But yeah, when it came came time to sell all my stuff and move here, I really didn't care how much I got for the stuff, you know. So I tried to do the 50% of new, but of course, even still, nobody wants to buy it. So yeah, make me an offer that was good enough for me. So if I figured it was decent enough and I got my money out of it, I sold it. I didn't care. I didn't care about any of that. I'm not going to use it. You know, I'm not going to be like some people. Well, if I can't sell it for this price, I'm just going to keep it. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Though, you know, my father was uh, kind of a strange character. Um, before he, before, well, he knew he was going to die. He was going to die of cancer. So, and I wasn't there. We hadn't had a good relationship for some time at that point, but... Um, this I only heard this secondhand, so I'm not sure if it's true, but I was told that he took everything. He didn't want to give it to certain people in the family or whatever, so he just took it outside and burnt it all. You know, just put it in a big fire and burnt it. Surprised he didn't burn the house down. But, uh, yeah, so it's interesting how people think, you know what I mean? But in my case, yeah, I just sold all my stuff and and moved here. I didn't care. I didn't care if I got a little or a lot. I just wanted to get the, the hell out of Dodge and come to the Philippines. And so now I've been here two years. Yeah, I actually really do like it here. <clears throat> you know, I don't live in a, a classy neighborhood like PGC or anything like that. I can't even call that classy. I mean, if that's what you want, that's what you like, that's great, but that's not for me. You know, I, I lived in a neighborhood like that. I lived where, you know, no one talks to you, you know. I lived in a neighborhood where, you know, the streets were quiet all day. You had nobody to talk to when you went out for a walk, you know, unless they were outside. And then, of course, you get, you know, those neighbors that just don't want to talk to you, period. So, yeah, I, that's why I prefer, you know, the country life in the Philippines. You know, this road that was once only a house here and there is like, they're, they're everywhere now along this road. <clears throat> and now they're stacking up behind the, the roadside houses. Because I walk the road every day, everybody knows me, you know, so I can always tell when somebody's new because they stare at me. <laughs> it's like, who's that guy? What's he doing here? <clears throat> yeah, I'm sure lots of people here think I'm, I'm broke or poor, but that's okay, let them think that. Doesn't bother me. There's no value to me what other people think of me. 
So, yeah. Even my my wife even mentioned, you know, she she would like a car. And she's never asked me directly, but you know, just sort of indirectly. But I told her well, there is no need for a car. Really, there there is no need for a car in the Philippines because you know I can walk ten feet in any direction, get a ride from a bike. I just walk down to the main road and click, get a bus to Cebu, you know, and I don't have to wait. Like where I lived, where I lived in Canada, I'd have to wait like an hour or an hour and a half for a bus. Here I wait like five minutes, ten minutes. You know, I, I mean, yeah, if you're a really big guy, yeah, it's, that wouldn't be convenient. You know, taking a bike or, you know, riding in a jeepney or, you know, the buses are okay. But yeah, the smaller transportations aren't very good for a big guy. So yeah, that's the reason I never bought a vehicle. Because transportation is easy for me to get here. Easy to get and... I can go anywhere fairly quickly. Bike is the quickest if you want to get anywhere in a hurry. So if you cut your foot off, throw it in a bag and get a guy on a bike to take you because don't wait for the ambulance. <laughs> they'll, they'll have to amputate at least six inches up off your leg <clears throat> because you waited too long to get to the hospital. So yeah, that's my take on the whole thing. Just blabbing away, walking down here to the to the little mini market. I'll just flip the phone around here so you can see all that. Oh, am I going to be walking into the sun? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I'll know it when I get the complaints. Yeah. That's about, that's the other thing about the filming industry I learned. The best time of day to do for making videos and is in the morning and in the evening when the sun's getting up or it's going down, you know, because I guess uh, light and shadow is a big deal. <clears throat> so yeah, I found that fascinating. So of course, did I apply that? No, of course not. I'm here like at uh, noon. <laughs> I'm here at noon taking a... Uh, taking my video here. So all the land that you see that I'm walking down the road is a land lease. And it's pretty cheap. So we're paying like 300 pesos a month for a land lease. And some people really take that land lease serious. You know, and they build some, some pretty big places like this place here. She's got like a big boutique store here. They built their house first, and then they built their boutique store, and then just recently on this end, over here, I don't know if you can see it, I'm raising my camera up, but uh, they built a salon. So, yeah, it's interesting. And she's doing good business here. I met the landowner here. She's actually from, I think she's from Australia. And her mother actually lives in this area. So, oh, I don't know where this guy's going here. Oh, okay. So yeah, she built uh, her house, sorry. So her house is, um, what is her house? Yeah, so her mother lives here. Um, she just lives up on the hill. And she lives in a very simple house. Uh, even probably more simple than most of the houses that you've seen here. We've been walking by. And uh, I think her mother's like in her 70s. And she doesn't want to move there because she's got a great view. She's got a great view of what you see right in front of you. She's got an ocean view. Uh, this isn't the view. She actually has a better view, but it's okay. 
And she has her little dog, so she's happy with that. I'm going back now, as you can tell. And, uh, yeah, it's, that's just life here. So, yeah, even I see somebody built a house back in here. I never noticed it before. I don't know if that's recent or not. Probably not. Just uh, somebody cut down all the vegetation. That's why I didn't see it before. So anyways, that's my little walk and talk in my little simple neighborhood with Sari Sari stores competing with each other. This one right here in the red. I don't know why they closed up. They had like a little decent place here for, for some time. Yeah, I don't know why they closed up. Maybe they got a job somewhere that's better. Nobody seems to be living here now. But yeah, there's a few like that here. Houses that uh, people built, lived in them for a short period, moved on. There's actually one up here on the side of the road that got built. <laughs> oh, another reason why this place here is such a good business for all the church wedding supplies and uh, dresses and everything is because the landowner built the church here so you know <laughs> they do everything it's kind of like a one-stop shop now they can do their they can do their banquet their wedding and everything is right here all the costumes I just don't know where they would change that's the only thing I would I would ask about the place, but eh, it's okay. So here's another place right here. Now I've seen this place change hands maybe three or four times since I've been here. Somebody built something different. This was just recently constructed, this little shack here in the fence. And the guy here, he actually makes furniture. And he just started making the furniture, I think maybe about a month ago. So he's using the van that's been abandoned here for storage for all the stuff that he's made. So I actually went and checked out some of his stuff. I mean, yeah, it's pretty good quality. Yeah, maybe a little rough around the edges, but compared to what you buy in the store, yeah, most of the furniture you see in the store is all put together with screws, you know? no woodworking involved this guy actually uses some woodworking joints when he makes his stuff <clears throat> so and he's got you know some homemade equipment but he manages so yeah you do what you can right i mean i had to do that many times in construction you know improvise a table saw because we didn't have one available you know flip the old skill saw upside down on a piece of plywood there you go so, yeah. Anyways, now we're walking back down to my place. So, anyways, we're gonna let you go. This is Norm, Rogers Corner. I'm finished my walk. Y'all have a good day now here. Bye. Peace out. <laughs>